I just need to let you know I absolutely hate not being with you this morning. Uh, even though I'm in one of my favorite places while you guys are here, uh, actually right now I'm back in Detroit, Michigan speaking at Kensington Community Church, which is our mother church. And then uh, tonight I'm going to be hopping on a plane and joining Eric Winter and Amy King as we head to Ethiopia to check out a new partnership possibility uh, for our missions teams over there. And I'm, I'm really, really excited about that. Um, it's going to be a great adventure. But I just want to tell you, I believe that it's going to probably pale in comparison to what we have the chance to experience together as a church uh, for the next 50 days. And uh, I just want to take a few minutes and share my heart with you about that uh, before you jump into the rest of the service. So today, I'm up here in Mill Creek Canyon. I mean, I just, I just I love this place. <laughs> I love the fact that I can get here in like 15 minutes. And um, but the reason I wanted to be up here in this video is um, because this is where I do so much of my life. Um, I exercise up here. I love just to hike the mountains as much as I can. Relationally, a lot of stuff happens here for me. Uh, we bring our kids up here. We try to get up here every week almost and just picnic together. My kids slide down these hills all the time. Um, we love to invite other families to join us. Um, and that's a big part of my life as well. Uh, but I also work up here, uh, probably at this table even. Um, prep my messages, as long as my battery will last on my computer, I'll do as much as I can. And I also love to be up here in the mountains just to spend my time with God, um, whether I'm hiking or sitting here, praying or reading or doing whatever. And I just think it's really important for us, we try to say this a lot at K2, that the hour and a half that we experience together on a Sunday morning is really important, it's why we do it. But the key to really knowing God is figuring out how to get Him into our life, into our recreation and our exercise, into our relationships, into our work. Um, and what I want more than anything else personally is to know Him. I want to know Him in all my life. And I can just say, for me personally, and I know for the rest of the leadership at K2, we want you to know, individually, every minute of every day. And that's why we're going to go ahead and move forward and take this 50-day adventure together. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask every single one of you who comes to K2 to take a 50-day adventure with God. And uh, one of the things that we love about uh, K2 and we really value here is the fact that there are so many people at completely different places on their spiritual journey with Jesus. And, uh, and we really honor that. And uh, one of the things that we think can happen, and we've designed it this way, is that you will go on this adventure and it will be yours. It will be a personal adventure that you can match exactly where you're at in your walk with Christ. And we also realize that we're wired differently. Um, some of us love the Sunday morning experience, but even in that, some love the worship, some love the message, the community. Um, some people really connect with God out here, like in nature, some by yourself, meditating, reading books. There's so many different ways. And what we realize is we want to make sure that you have a chance to engage with God in the way that you're wired. Imagine what would happen if every single one of us took one step closer to looking a little bit more like Jesus and live in the type of life that he lived while he was down here on this earth. I can tell you what, in 50 days, we would be a completely different church. I, I can't even really imagine myself of how cool it could be if all of us took this adventure together and decided to say, God, have your way with me. I want to know you and I want to grow and be more like you. Hey, so for the rest of the service today, I'd just love to ask you guys to consider opening up your heart to God and, um, and be willing just to hear what He might be saying to you today as He prompts your heart, as He gives you vision for what He wants to do in your life personally and for what He wants to do in the life of K2. And um, I just really believe with all of my heart that if each of us takes this on in 50 days, we're going to experience something that will affect the rest of our lives and the rest of this year together. And so that's why I hate not being with you today, but uh, I'm excited to be back in a couple weeks as we go through this. I love you. We'll see you then.